Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bunny Cakes, as you should know, and if you don't, that means you're new here. Um, or you're skipping my intros. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> so, welcome to my channel if you're new here. Um, today, what I'm going to be discussing is my first week of, of the Owl's Magical Readathon. Um, I started a week late, so it's week two of the readathon, but I didn't find out about it until the 6th when I, right, well actually the 5th, I posted my, my TBR on the 6th, I believe. Um, and I actually didn't technically start until the 8th because even after selecting my TBR, I really, really wanted to read Mother Knows Best. And, um, because of that, <laughs> I decided that, uh, I wanted to read that first, um, because I'm really into that book series, so I, I did a quick read of that, um, because I wanted to get it off my TBR and find out about it. I'm going to review that probably later this week. Um, so, I, uh, also, if I look exhausted, it's because I am. It's been a really long day, and it's currently 4.42 a.m. Eastern Time as I'm filming this. I actually woke up about 5.15 yesterday morning um, after sleeping for about two hours so I could go out and go shopping for my family um and ordinarily I would sleep more than that but uh the way the world is working I had some anxiety about going out um also I'm a night owl and on regular days like when I'm not planning to go out early I I sometimes don't go to sleep until like eight o'clock in the morning uh, so sometimes it's hard to shift that sleep schedule um but yeah, today was, well, technically yesterday, was a bit crazy for me being out in public and trying to grab all the things that I needed. And um, so you'll notice that today, which is Saturday slash Sunday morning, um, for Saturday I didn't have a video. And it's because I wasn't in the headspace to film a video Friday night. And I thought that I was going to come home and film a video, but I was exhausted. Um, but back to what we're actually here for, the reading bit. Um, I have finished one of my books on my TBR, and that is You by Carolyn Kepnes. It was one of my divination books. Um, I really, really loved it. At first I hated it, and then I realized why I hated it, and then I loved it. And I'm totally, totally enjoying it. Um... My next book that I decided to read off of my TBR is going to be The Handmaid's Tale, which is my other divination book, and um, I'm looking forward to it. I've technically started it, and by technically, I mean I've read, like, the first page. <laughs> um, and that was mostly because I, I literally, just before I filmed this vlog, I filmed my review for that because it was fresh. I wanted to film that review while it was fresh. Um, so I, I finished that book maybe, maybe 40 minutes or so ago. And then as I was queuing up on my Kindle app, uh, The Handmaid's Tale, I, I read the first page and then I was like, oh, I should probably film a video. So I have a video for Sunday. And, um, then I was like, well, I might as well film two videos. <laughs> um, I also realized that I missed a book on my TBR for the um, for the Magical Readathon. I should have had four, and I only talked about three in my TBR. And so the other book that I've decided to add to my TBR, and I'm pulling up the name because for the moment my brain isn't functioning correctly and I need to look up the title of it, um, so I'm pulling it up here on my computer. So the next book, the other book that I'm going to put on my TBR, and this is the one I'm going to count for 
astronomy is lock every door. I'm going to read that mostly at night, but technically, legally, as I said in my other, in my actual TBR video, almost all of my books are read primarily at night. In fact, I don't think that I read a single piece of you during the daylight. Um, but that's not what that was for. That one was definitely for divination. If you watch my TBR, you know that. Um, but yeah, I'm having a really good time with this readathon, with reading the books. I haven't actually been able to, to participate much, um, because I've been working and then, um, also on my days off, on my day off Thursday, I had some things to do and then I, uh, I wasn't feeling good, so I kind of slept most of the day. And then, um, of course, today for me, technically yesterday, I had to go out in the world and um, I hadn't slept much. So I came home, we cleaned and sanitized and put everything away, and then I caught myself a good three or four hour nap <laughs> before my fiancé woke me up to make dinner because he was starving. Um, it would, because I had forgotten to tell him that I got a sandwich for dinner and that it was in the, the refrigerator. He thought I was going to cook, so he was waiting. He was hungry, so he woke me up. And then I, I, because I'm trying to switch my sleeping pattern around a little bit because Monday I start working a couple of hours earlier, um, I decided to stay up and here we are. It's almost five o'clock in the morning and I'm filming videos, so that's what we're doing right now. Um, but I'm hope what my plan is, is to film a couple of videos or whatever for my channel so that, um, if changing my sleeping pattern wrecks my world for a couple of days, I'll have content for people to watch and I can focus more on my reading than on filming videos for a little bit. I mean, I'll have to edit videos, but you know, that's not super hard because I don't do a whole lot of editing. I just cut a little bit off the front, a little bit off the back. I might throw a picture in here or there and make a thumbnail and then we're good to go because I'm not trying to edit a whole lot right now. Um, mostly because I haven't found a good program that I super duper like. I'm okay with the program I'm using right now, which is OpenShot. I'm just not super familiar with it. And, um, because it's been like two years since I was editing videos and I don't remember what I used to use before that I was familiar with, but I mean, I probably wouldn't even be super familiar with that anymore because it's been so long. Um, but, uh, that's pretty much all I have. It's not been a terribly eventful week. I'm hoping that, um, this coming week where I'll be off work earlier, that I will be able to participate in at least the tail end of some of the readathon activities and some of the reading sprints. Now, I did go in and update my, um, my reading, uh, my completed book in the tool, so my pages are counting. Um, also, I did forget to say this in my TBR. Um, I am House Slytherin. Don't let the blue hair fool you totally Slytherin. Um, usually when I, like when I've taken the Harry Potter sorting test and everything, usually I'm either Slytherin or Hufflepuff, <laughs> but most often Sly Slytherin and that's the house I identify with most. So much like Harry Potter, I chose my house. <laughs> um, though I went with Slytherin instead of, you know, not Slytherin. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. Go Team Slytherin. And um, let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments below or link me your videos or whatever. Um, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. Please practice your social distancing. I got backed into a corner by a couple of people today. Was not a good time. Um, and uh, so it freaked me out a little bit. Um, but wash your hands, take care of yourself, take care of your family. Don't go out unless you need to. I don't want to go out like 
for another six and a half months if I can help it. It's not going to be the case, but that's what I would like. <laughs> but the more we stay in, the sooner it'll be over and the more likely, likely we are to stay healthy. So um, let's keep doing that and you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.